This is the next tutorial on the Nord keyboard. Today we're going to talk about the program section of the instrument. This is where you can save your work, you can make instruments, you can put together a series of instruments for a song and save all of your work and you can even name it so that you can pull it up at a later time if you play the same worship song again. Now, first things we have to get the keyboard out of its protect mode and to do that we talked about the shift key once before and here's your system area. If we press that we are now in the system area and you can see the memory protect is on. We're going to turn that off and now we're capable of writing onto the memory of the instrument. Quite often one of the areas where um, many of the groups that I work with um, run into trouble is right here. They'll get this in the wrong area. You, we, we want it in A440. Sometimes if you're with an orchestra or something, you might want A442, depending on how the strings tune. Um, but now we have the memory protect off, so we're going to get out of that. Now the next thing is to get to a patch area where there isn't anything in the keyboard already. So we're going to scroll up to the M's, and that is quite a distance. Okay, here we have some empty patches. So this one is empty. So now, as you can see, there is um, nothing in here. So we're going to build an instrument, and then we're going to save it. First, let's say that this song, we want to have a, a pad start off. So we're going to use the pad engine here, or the, the synthesizer. And we'll just turn that on. When you first turn it on, you just get like a sine wave. So you can actually build an instrument from scratch if you want. But we're going to use one of their warm pad sounds. go with this one here. It's a nice warm sounding pad. Okay, and now we can layer instruments, we can put switches together where we can switch to instruments quickly, and that's what I'm going to do here. Let's just say that in this song it's kind of simple, we just need a pad and a piano. So we have the pad going, and let's put in a piano here. So we're going to go to this B. This is another layer, so we can layer up to six instruments on top of each other. So let's go to the B. We're going to turn on the piano. And this is the Royal Grand Piano that comes with it. This is a very interesting instrument. It was recorded from the player's perspective with just a microphone at about your head position. So it sounds very good. It even sounds good from the audience's standpoint. Now, we have that in B, and we have the pad in A. So we can switch back and forth between them. If we hit them both together, we can play them both together. Then you need to remember if you need to turn them off, you have to hit them both again. Now, let's say that we want to save this now to this area. Well, that's where we're going to use the store function. And you can name it too. As you can see here, it says store as. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the shift key, store as. And now, you can see, if we press down here where the ABC is, right here, you can see the line. You press and hold that, and then you're capable of changing the name here. So let's just call it JB Five, And then we can delete the other things here, okay? Now, store is flashing. That's telling you that if you hit that again, it's going to store it to that memory area. And now you can see it changed the name, and it's in here. These are all patches that came with the instrument. So let's go back up to my patch that we just made. And you can see it's in memory now. Okay. Let's quickly make up another instrument. Let's say this one, we need more of a Fender Rhodes kind of a sound. Uh, so we'll go here. Now here you can switch between your different types of pianos. So let's go with something digital. Kind of a bell tone kind of an instrument. It's nice. So we're going to have that in A. And then let's say for B, 
we want to be able to switch quickly to some kind of string sound. So let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and save this instrument now. Now, for the worship set, you can go ahead and use the song mode, and then you can layer your patches or assign your patches to go in a certain order. So we're going to do that next here. We've already programmed some patches. Now we're going to program some songs so that we can get quickly to these patches. The way we do this is you press Shift, Song, Edit, and you can see number one is flashing here. So... We're going to put in this patch here and then store. But it's going to let you assign it to a different area here where, where it, we want to go to some place that's empty. So we're going to go here. Actually, let's name it. And that saved it to that space. Let's say that we want to assign the next song to here. We're going to have to scroll all the way up to the patch that we made. Okay, now we have our two patches saved. There. Actually, I saved the same one. I wanted this to be five. There we go. That's better. Now it's better. Now we can quickly switch between the two songs. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to split the keyboard so you can have a pad on one side, a piano on the other side, or even more instruments than that, and then you don't have to change anything. Um, so we'll get to layering in the next video.